Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and today I want to share with you some alternative projects for the Tag Buffet um, card kit which I'm going to be showing you here in a second. Uh, and first of all, I do apologize for being a little bit late. Um, I did have a event at the company and it took a little bit longer than what I expected so definitely um, uh, I had to push it a little bit. So anyway, so hopefully you can join me and um, just let me know where you are connecting from. In the meantime, I'm going to try to share this to my group as well. So just bear with me. And um, and anyway, so just, okay, good, good, good. So uh, like I said, thank you so much for being here with me. Hey, uh, I do apologize. It's one of those things um, uh, at the company. <laughs> So anyway, so let me just uh, give me one second here. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Carol. Thank you. Thank you again. You're always so nice with me. And like I said, I wanted to do some projects using this one. Um, this is the kit that makes the tags. And I'll show you here in a second what it, it contains. So let me uh, here. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Share options it's always gonna crazy well i cannot share whatever so i'm gonna share it later on so if someone can share it into my group i would really appreciate it but because i don't want to be wasting too much time you're already i'm already late so anyway so here is so these um this is the one that it's uh, supposed uh, to do tags, which I think is really nice. Uh, one of the things I want to share with you is like the tags are actually really big. You can see my hand and then see this one. Um, you can see like, um, let me just put like a car size. You can see from a car size, it's it's really large. So they're definitely really um, large enough. And you have, um, I don't remember how many you make from this kit. Um... I don't think it says here. There's like, I think it's like four of, yeah, five of each. No, I think it's more. I, okay, I didn't even use this one, so let's just, yeah, so, oh, okay, so it's five of each from what I can tell here, five, yeah. It seems like it's five, but anyway, so it's, um, and you can see here there's different designs which I all I love all the different ones. I love that it has the uh, gold foil, definitely. So you can see here, it looks really nice. Hello, Dawn, thank you, thank you for joining me. And then there's these uh, smaller tags so that you can do like layers, if you will, right? You can see it here. Um, so you have um, this one. Then there is like an oval and you get way more from this one. And then you have the stars. Definitely, I think it's a great project kit. Um, I'm not so much into tags. I know it's kind of crazy, right? But I'm not really into tags. However, when I saw this one, I thought it would be great for either making cars. I mean, of course, the tags, but you can see how big these are. And these are just, um, <laughs> say hello to Lenny too. Thank you. Um, but you can see how large this one is. And you can see the little uh, stocking here. Um the Christmas tree definitely is one of my favorites. I just love, again, that it has gold foil. So I think all of these tags will look amazing. Uh, look at this one. Um, like it's prigs with the holy jollies, I guess. I don't know. What, and then you have the gifts and the cardinal. So definitely there's too many options. And then there is another section that has all different... Uh, like um areas where you can stamp your sentiments and those are the ones that i'm going to be showing you um the ones that are missing are the ones that i'm going to be showing you here so definitely lots of options and um look at this one the ornament with the gold foil i mean it just looks amazing so it also um it does not include this sentiment but it goes with this one oh i forgot to mention there's also this gold thread that goes with this um which we're gonna be using today and then like i said there is the sentiment oh, what did i do with this one so it's a photopolymer so you can see here and the ornament and the stocking are not as large as the ones from the kit um but definitely you can continue using them for your cars and i just love that we have lots of options here to make like little patterns and then of course you have the sentiments here that i think will look fantastic so 
with that being said, let's just get um, moving along. And before I start, uh, this week, or actually tomorrow, is the last day to sign up for the uh, car class, uh, the stamp stack that is the Snowflake Wishes. And this is the one where you get uh, enough materials to do four of each. So the class includes 12 cards uh, if you pick to do the make and take. That option is only through my email. So if you're not in my email list, make sure you sign up on my email. It's right there on the description of this video. The last email will be sent tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day to sign up. And then from there, um, uh, after that, the only option will be the tutorials, which you can get the tutorials at my uh, blog at creatingwithali.com. There is a section that says tutorial store, and you will find this one. As soon as you purchase it, you can download it. So again, tomorrow is the last day for, for that. So let's just get started then with the class here. Um, a few things that I'm going to be adding um, is um, car stock, of course. And I did want to use a little bit of gold foil as well. And in this case, I'm using the brush, um, the brush metallic cardstock just because I had scraps from that one. So, but of course, if you have gold foil, that should be fine. I'm also thinking about the wonderful gems just because I have red and gold. And you can see these ones are kind of weird in a way because it's not just all gold. You can see that it has the clear and the little dots of like glittery um, that is gold. So it kind of looks kind of nice there, right? Um, so definitely I thought about this one just because it will go well with all the colors. Or if not, then I can also think red rhinestones will be another good one to use as well as the, what is this one? The gold glitter animal dots. Those could also be nice because you have different sizes. So definitely, I'm going to go with these ones. But if you don't have those, you can definitely use anything you have. Another one that I thought you could use is the uh, rhinestones basic jewels. And of course, you can color those with your alcohol markers or even with sharpest so that you can get the red, um, the red uh, shades. So anyway, so for this one. Here are the pieces that I have. As you can see, these are from the kit, so I'm going to be using those. The only things that I added is my cardstock, and I have here a little piece of um, the uh, gold foil. And this one, as you can see, is two and a half by three quarters of an inch. And then I have a scrap or a strip of the um, real red. And this one is half of an inch, yeah, half of an inch, a little bit less than half of an inch. Um, and the length doesn't matter because I know I'm going to be putting it underneath heat, so it's as long as this as this one. Um, so this one is what, like, yeah, if you have it like four, four and a half should be enough. So anyway, so let's just get started here. Now, because this stamp set is photopolymer, I'm going to be using the... Um, Pure mat when I am stamping. So I'm going to bring here the stamp set. And I have here uh, shattered spruce. This one is eight and a half by five and a half. And this one is four by five and one quarter. Now this one, if you remember, it's from the, um, from the tags. And the only thing that I did is that I cut the uh, areas where there was an angle. So you can see it here. So I cut this section. And it ended up being two inches there. But honestly, the only thing that I did is I just lined it up here. So I cut that section. And then I did the same thing here and I cut that section. That way I have like a piece of the uh, design series paper, if you will. Now I'm gonna be saving those pieces because I'll show you another project using that one. So you're gonna be using every single thing from, from that. Now, one thing to note is that you can see it here better. There is the hole where you're going to put through the, um, what is it, the, the metallic, this one. I don't remember right now how it's called, the metallic thread. Um, but because I'm not doing tags, I'm not going to take that away so that I can use it as if it were a design source paper. You don't really see it that much, so no one will know. Hi, Susan. No, you're not late. I'm also late, so we're all good here. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm going to be using here a scrap. I have shaded a spruce. And I have put on my blocks um, the leaves and the uh, sprigs, is that the name, from um, the set. So pretty much I have every single one of them here. 
and then I have these little berries. Now, one thing that you need to consider when you're doing the background is that you want to start with the largest one and then go from the largest to the smallest one. And always leave the little one or the tiny one to fill up the spaces. So definitely, always, always start with the large one. So I'm going to go ahead and bring... Yeah, I'm going to speed on it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start there. And just to start random, randomly changing it, you know, just so that you start filling all the areas. And um, you can see it here. Actually, I'm going to go this way. And so once I have that one, I'm going to leave it that way right now because I want to add this, the largest. So you can see there's two. I'm going to go first with the largest and then with the smallest one. I always like um, going that way. I feel like that always um, helps. And we're going to go ahead and add those. There we go. Uh, I think like I need a little bit of this one again. Just so that I can fill some of the areas here. There you go. And then I'm gonna bring the small one. And again, you always start from the large to the small one. That always makes it easier. And you can see I'm just putting them wherever it can fit. I do change um, a little bit of the positions, as you can see. And then finally, I'm not going to be using this one. I'm going to then instead use the little berries. And I'm going to be stamping wherever I see empty areas. That's why you always start with the largest and then go to the smallest, right? And usually I like to have one that is either tiny or dots or something like that because that always 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 helps you fill up those areas and it makes it looks really nice so like you can see here um and it's just everywhere i see so it's like doing your own pattern paper right And um, I think it looks okay. I don't think, um, maybe one more here. And maybe one, I don't know. No, I don't think I have enough space here. Maybe one here. And I think I'm good. I think I'm, there you go. I think I'm good with that. So anyway, you can see it here. You have your own um, design series paper, if you will. And then the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, I'm going to step it up a little bit more and I'm going to be, uh, running it through the, um, cut and embossing machine with the tasteful textile, which has become one of my favorites by now. Um, I just love, um, how well this embossing folder goes with everything and anything i'm telling you like if you don't have that embossing folder you definitely have to have it in your collection because it adds um it can go well for any occasion so let me just put it here and i'm just lining it up i'm gonna put it here then i'm gonna bring um plate number four and i should be good to go here. Let me take this one out of the table. And here we have it. And you're going to see how nice it looks. I mean, you have this one, but now you have texture. It looks even better. I'm telling you. So now, now that I have that, um, so I'm thinking about putting this one here with dimensionals. Did I bring dimensionals? 
That's okay here. Yes, I do. I'm like, do I have dimension? Because that's the other thing, right? I'm always missing dimensional. So the way I was thinking this one, oh, I forgot to do this one. I want to put here the Merry Christmas. So let's do that before I move forward. Where is the, hold on. Oh, here. I'm like, what did I do with the, I always like putting my pierce mat when I am using um, photopolymer because you get a better transfer of your image. So now for this one, because it's white on white, it's a little bit harder for me. So yeah, that will be great. So let's just use this one. And I'm gonna put this one right here. Thank you so much for sharing it. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so now that I have this, Um, now I like you know me I always like to see the kind of like the sketch if you will like how it starts looking and then from there I go and make decisions right so on this one I was thinking about putting it like that put this guy here I want to do a little uh, banner ends of course on this you know me I love the tailor tack punch for that um, I'm gonna be doing both ends now, as you can see, this was just a scrap that I have, um, and I want to use it in a lot of them, and I only want to show this much, so I can cut this section. So when you're using either foil or this specialty paper, always just keep even the scraps because those are perfect um, to embellish because you don't need that much. <laughs> So like in this case, this one is gonna go like here and everyone is gonna be thinking that it's going all the way, but it's not, right? And they're only gonna be seeing this much. So that's a, a good way to do that. And then on this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, now on this one, I can cut out already like about where I'm gonna be showing and then cut out Cut out um, let me just make sure I there we go yep let me see let's see how this one will look so I want to put this one right here and I think it's too long still so I might cut a little bit more on that than that end I'd rather be long and um, cut out than being short because, of course, if it's your short, you're going to have to cut it in the middle. But for these ones, I feel like it's always better that way. So you can see I can put it like that and it looks kind of nice, don't you think? Or even that way, it looks also nice. Now, I want to show more of the gold. Yeah. Or maybe I do cut it out, you know, like maybe I do cut it out and then... Yeah, maybe. Well, we'll just see from there. Let's just leave it right now. So I want this one here. Oh, but I also want to have that one. So I felt like I want to put this one. So I'm going to be cutting this one to this size. And then I'm going to be adding this guy here. And then have this one right there. Like somewhere here. Yep. And then here's what I'm going to see how much really space do I have. So I want this one here. Yeah, see how it starts to look? And then this one goes underneath, right? So I do like it a lot, so I'm gonna go forward with this. I like the idea. So, um, and honestly, that's all I do. I always try to, let me see if I cut it at four. Do I cut that circle? Yeah, I can cut that circle, that's perfect. I'm not gonna do it because I feel like it cuts right on that, so I'm gonna cut it more like so. Let's we'll start gluing this one onto our, where's our adhesive? So I'm gonna bring here, Oh, Barbara, I'm sure you're going to love it. I just love these, uh, the colors and the cutouts. And I think that even the, um, 
um, the tags will be nice, but I'll be honest, I almost never use tags. I like them a lot, but I never use them. Um, I don't know what it is. What is it with me? But I don't really use I might use like one or two and that's it. So definitely um, making cards. I know I'm going to be using cards a lot more. So you can see how this starts looking. Now I'm going to be adding um, dimensionals because that's the one thing. Whenever I do tone on tone, I like putting dimensionals because it's even it looks even nicer. So I've done it where I don't put the dimensionals and I don't like it as much. It just looks too plain. Especially if you're doing tone on tone. So definitely um, give it a try. If you're doing tone on tone, same car stock, then add some dimensionals. And you're going to see a big difference on um, on how they look, believe me. The printed paper. Oh, the printed paper. This paper, Teresa. Um, so this one is actually from the tags on this one so if you remember i show you at the very beginning so it's this one and i cut out the these sections so that makes that um that makes this one so that's where the design series paper come from like i was saying i love the tags but i don't really use them that much and so i decided i want to start doing more of the cards because i know cards definitely i need them every single year i need a lot of cards so definitely that will be um, one of the things that I'll do most, I probably will do one of each of the different tags because they do look beautiful. Um, let me just say, but again, I feel like you can do so much more with the, um, with the kit and not just do only the tags, but also do cards. And so anyway, I feel like you're going to love them all. I'm pretty sure because I love them all. <laughs> so, um, let's just... And they're very easy to make, right? Well, I mean, you know me. I always try to make them really easy. I don't really do too much complex stuff here. So anyway, so see how having that layer of dimensionals adds something to it a lot? Believe me, you're going to love it. And then I'm going to be adding this one. Like I said, let's just start assembling our tag. I do like the idea of... Um, showing up a little bit more so i'm gonna be putting this one here first and i'm gonna be using like a glue dot uh where are my glue dots oh uh, here like i'm every single time um so i'm gonna see so i want them to be like so let's do the other one where is this one i'm gonna be adding another glue dot here and oh I think I put this one well we'll see I think I put this one kind of like at the at the very um I'm gonna cut this section here I'm gonna do it the other side since I cannot rip that one apart there we go So I want to show more of that. And so I want it to be about that way. And then I can add some adhesive here. Yep. And then some adhesive here. Does that look? Yep. All right, and then this one will go right here, right? I probably need to move this one more towards that section. And then I'll add, let me see. Nope, I do need it to be this way. Like that. Oh, yeah, that way. I like that. All right, so now I'm going to be adding everything on dimensionals. That's how. Um, because I want a lot of dimension on this one. So this one, I'm sure the mail post is not going to like me a lot, but you know what? It's going to look stunning. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm going to put this one right here. This one, I'm not going to be adding dimensionals on this section, but glue dots on that so that it glues here. But then on this section, I'm going to be adding the dimensionals. 
And when I have these these many layers, I try to put the dimensionals where I kind of talk the whole thing. If you know, if you see what I'm doing here, that way it kind of takes everything there. Mm. And I probably, let me see. Yeah, like that. And then this one will have a dimension. Now, I might need one here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yep. Like so. And you see how it starts to look really nice. All right. So then after I have that, I don't know if I want to add a little bit of this underneath the bird. And so we can do a little, <clears throat> I don't know how to call that, but, you know, like a little cluster of the gold dress, um, maybe a little bit larger. There you go. Let me just see how this one looks. And so, there we go. Yes, I like that. So I'm gonna cut it here. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit here. Just so that I can add this one here. And you're just gonna have to line it up however you like it, right? You just move it a little bit. Oh, there you go. And let me put this one right here. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. Hi, Pam. Hi, Raleen. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for all of you who are sharing. I really appreciate it your support and your help. <laughs> so anyway, so let's put this little guy. Let me, I don't want to press it. There you go. Yeah. There it looks nice. And you can see it has some of that here. It shows here. And I'm, then I'm going to be adding this one here. So it's, it has some of that already. Yeah. And I need only one glue dot on this section. Thank you, Pam. Glad you're liking it. Like I said, it, it's really easy and you don't need too many things, right? You just need a little bit of cardstock. And like I said, either um, some rhinestones, maybe. And I might need to move it a little bit more. Just because I, I want it to be... Mm, I want it to be... Let me move... A little bit this one because I might need to move a little bit more towards this section because I want this to be there you go I want it I want to always want to make sure that this one is inside so then I can put this one I can tuck that one under and then I might need to add something on this one so I'll add one of the little ones so this is like yeah there you go Mm. there you go that way everything has and finally we're just gonna add some of this thank you susan i know that cardinal looks really nice right so again i'm using the wonderful gems and i think the red ones will look nicer in this card don't you think than the gold ones although the gold ones also look nice but i think i'm gonna go with like three little uh three of the red ones um just to bring more of that red from the bird um i put another one like right here oh i have one that move already right there so i'm gonna put another one like right here there you go so, yeah, so I'm going to leave it like that. And you can see, really easy to make. Yeah, right, right? So, really easy to put together. So now, let's go to the next one. 
So the next one, do do do. Um, I'm gonna be using the scraps from this one, and on this one, actually, I was debating between red or green. I'm gonna do a green just because most of the cards I'm doing, um, today are with the green. And I kind of always like to have some sort of a pattern. But you can see these are the pieces that I cut out of this one, right? So I'm just showing you that you're going to be using the whole thing. So you can see this one is from this stack, right? Of course, I already cut this one to fit the four. But um, so I'm going to be using those. And I have a piece of um, gold foil just to bring this one. And this is one of those um, I used from another tag. So I'm going to... I might be using that one as well. Um, but so this one you can see is the same size, the four by five and one quarter. You can see it here. I already embossed with the tasteful textile as on the other one. And the way I want to have that one is having, um, I did a die cut, a circle, and I put also the texture on that one. Same texture as the one here. And then have this here and this is a sketch that i show you a few weeks ago that i am in love i just love the sketch because it gives it just looks amazing honestly so i was thinking something like that have this one here and then have the sentiment i mean don't don't you think it looks really nice already and this one looks really nice if you do it with red like i said honestly i thought about doing it in red at the beginning and then i just switch it to green um just because a i'm um i always like to do like sets and i thought this will be really nice and then too i thought that the red on the stocking was kind of competing with that and you're gonna see it here in a second too and maybe we'll we'll decide right so anyway so you can see uh same measurements you can put the red on this one like this section starts looking really nice too but when i put the um, this one right I thought that it, this one kind of compete too much with that one. I like how it looked better with this. And, of course, then I'm doing my set. And so that's where I thought the green would look nicer. But it looks nice, too. Uh, don't get me wrong. It looks nice. But I'm going to go with the green on this one. So you can see how you can just play it with different car stocks, right? So anyway, so let's just go start with this one. Um, same thing with this. It is 8.5 by 5.5. We're going to fold it in half. And we're going to um, we're gonna have this one here. And again, this one is four by five and one quarter. I have already uh, pre-embossed with the tasteful textile as you saw me on the previous one. Um, die cut the largest of the circle um, from the Stitch Shapes framelits. And this one, um, I also run it through the um, tasteful textile embossing folder. So it has a texture as well. Then the boot. And then let's just work with this. So on this ones, I'm going to go ahead and cut the banner in using the Taylor Tuck Punch. All right, and then I'm gonna be doing the same on this one. There we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and um, and I want this one to be like right there. So let's just add adhesive. Oh my goodness. And I want it to be like right there. Then let's just add that one as well. Oh, and I think I add way too much, but that's fine. And we're gonna be adding this one right there. Yeah, I added too much here. I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna be adding this one right here.
Okay. And then I'm just going to cut whatever excess I have here. Oh. Now, if you start seeing some gooey on those, you can clean it with the, um, what is this called? Lemon oil, the essential oils. And you're going to see that it just goes away really quick. So here we go. So we're going to have that one here. Now, on this one, I want to do the um a bow on this and let me see if i have my twisters because sometimes this part kind of gets crazy i'm gonna be using right now this so I want to cross. What am I doing here? Where is my yep? So I want this one. I want this one to be here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now I want to make a little bow here. I don't think I have enough. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. Let me just do this again because I need enough to make a bow. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna put this for a second here. It always feels like I need an extra hand. There you go. And then I'm gonna be doing a little bow here. There we go. Alrighty, so we have the bow here. We just need to shape it. I might need to move it a little bit up. There we go, because I want it up. And there we have it. And I will add a glue dot on this section because I don't want it to be moving anymore. Um, I might just do, like I'll take this one and kind of fold it. There you go. And I'm gonna be adding it like right here. And now that I have it there, I can cut it. All right, so now that I have it there, I'm gonna put it on my card right here. And look how nice it starts looking, right? I want this one to have that shape. There we go. I'm gonna be adding dimensionals, because again, when you do tone and tone, it looks nicer if you have dimensionals, rather than just uh, gluing it flat. Oh, so the lemon, so Carol, the lemon, oil is that when you when you have gooey here you know sometimes as you cut and you have adhesive it just starts building up and then when your your sisters kind of uh they're not as smooth when cutting you use lemon oil to clean the gooey it goes away really fast it just melts really good and it just it just makes it really easy so i use the lemon oil um for cleaning my scissors whenever I get too much, uh, like a buildup of glue on my project, on my scissors, sorry. So that's what I said. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one. Again, lots of dimensionals, but it is, I mean, it's worth it. It looks amazing. And we're gonna be Putting it right here. Alrighty. Then we're gonna be adding this guy here. And I'll be putting it like right there. Yep. Yep. And then I'm gonna be adding this one. Oh my god, this is like kind of too tall. 
I might just put then this one here, you know? Yeah, there you go. Like, I'm just going to put it, like, more towards the bottom. Because I don't want to lose that bow. Or actually, I can put it, like, here. I could probably, I should have probably put this one more towards the top. So, if you're making this car, just do that. And it will look, I think, nicer. That way, you're not covering almost all. Or maybe I don't even need the circle. Let's see. Do I want to do this? No, I do like the circle. I'm going to go with the circle. So anyway, so this is why I always like to lay, lay it up. And of course, I forgot to do that on this one. And you can see that now I'm kind of struggling with where to add this one. So I'll have to put this one more towards the bottom. Covering more of those, but it still looks nice. So anyway, so lesson learned. But anyway, it is still, it is still will look nice, believe me. <sighs> I'm going to put this one like right here at the bottom. Yep. And then this one underneath this. There you go. Yeah. So now for this one, I want dimensionals. Um, well, the boot, um, the stocking is kind of large though. So yeah, I could have tried that as well, but I think it's fine. It will work out. Believe me. It will work out. You are still going to love it. See that? It still looks nice. There you go. It's kind of... Hmm, let me just move this one a little bit to the... Because uh, I don't want it to be getting too out of this section. One of the things that I try to pay attention to is that they don't go out of the cart itself because sometimes when you're mailing them it's kind of harder there you go much better yep so more towards that so that this is not out of the section okay now as far as the sentiment we're going to be adding it here and for this one i want to add that let me see does this fit here no there's another one there's the um, uh, where's the stamp set there's the um, with love for you. I think that will be really nice, right? So we can use that one. Let me bring a block. And what did I do? Oh, here. I'm like, what did I do with the thing here? We're going to put this one here. Again, we're going to be using the shaded spruce. And you can see that I am mainly only using one ink pad. So not too many ink pads, not too many colors of the car stock. And so, yeah, you can make lots of cars with this one for sure. Thank you, Barbara. I'm happy you're enjoying it. There we go. Let me close it. This one is going to go right here. And then this one, this is another one from another car that I'll show you. But if you notice, this is the top. So, um, so on one of these, right, I just cut the top because I'm going to be using this section. So, um, so I have here the top. And I don't know if I want to add that to these, you know, like little banners. Let's just do it. You know, let's see how that looks. If if I don't like it, then we'll don't put it, right? Let me just see where I am. Mm. There we go. Much better. Let me cut this because sometimes it throws me off seeing it that way. That way I put it in the middle. And then, let me see, do I want, yeah, I think it looks nice. I'm going to go ahead with the, do it. I'm just going to cut it on that one. We're going to add it here. A little bit of that showing up. I mean, it's just a scrap of paper, right? So why not using it? And I love that it has the red, the uh, gold foil, of course. You just make it look even nicer. Boop. And so we're going to be adding this one like right here. Actually, I'm going to put it like right there. So we're going to be adding dimensionals. Actually, no, because this one is already on dimensionals. But I'm going to put it at the end and then a glue dot here. How about that? 
I think that will work much better. That way it's not too bulky. There you go. Yep. And we can add those little um, gems. And on this one, I don't know, do I want the reds again? Maybe the reds. I might just run out of the reds. <laughs> okay, I went one here. And one there. And one went other of the small ones. Somewhere here. Yep. And we call it a day. How about that? Right? What do you think? Looks nice, don't you think? And again, I would have liked this one more towards the top. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. It looks nice. So here is card number two. So now let's do card number three. Um, so now for that one, I'm going to be using this one. Um, so now for this one, I want to do the embossing on this one. So let's do the embossing and I'll show you here in a second, the rest. Um, and I'm using the same embossing as well, the, the folder, but you can, oh, sh you can also use the, um, what is this other one? The, su the subtle will be another one that is really good because, uh, it goes with any season, you know, or with any theme, I should say. So it doesn't have to be. A specific for a theme which is what I love about the tasteful uh, textile that you can use it with anything right like in this case I'm using it for Christmas I've done it for birthday cars baby cars so it goes with anything because there's no it's just texture it's not nothing it's not like the snowflakes that um, you have to kind of use it with snowflakes right so here you have it again and the same thing is four by five and one quarter. I have a piece of um, what it is, eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. Oh. And on this one, the way I picture this is, look at what I did on this one. So on this one, I actually die cut the tag. So. Um, I use the, um, I don't remember where, let me just show you. So the tag look, oh. so it is this one and I use the, um, so sweetly a stitch, I think it is called. Yep. And I use, I believe it's this one, the second from the largest. Yeah, there you go. So you just put it like so, and then you get something like this, which, I mean, it looks really nice, right? Um, so just lay your die cut and see what can you take out of them, right? Like how can you, I honestly wanted to just have that shape, but it didn't really fit because this is originally what I thought I was going to be using and it didn't fit. This one was lighter, um, larger and wider, so it didn't work out. But originally, that's what I thought I could use. The other one that I was thinking, and I don't think I did this one, but I, I thought it, it didn't fit well. Let me just see. I think this one was larger. So it's just a matter of you playing with them. Let's see if it fits. I don't, I don't remember if it was wider. I think it was wider. Well, yeah, it, yeah, this doesn't work with that section. See, or maybe, well, maybe... No, yeah, no, I remember. It kind of, see how it doesn't kind of work with those areas, right? So you could kind of play with it, but I think you're going to cut some of those corners. So anyway, that's why I didn't use this one. Um, like I said, just play with the die cut, see which one uh, can fit and go for it, right? That way you have uh, some shapes. So on this one, I'm going to go with that. I have cut, you saw that I used the other section, right? Like I mentioned on the other one. Um, it was these, and honestly, the only thing that I did is I cut that top, right? Which is the one that I used on the previous card. Um, so this one is going to go here. Then I thought adding this one right here, right? And then put my three here. 
I did die cut this one out. You can punch out the star. I just have the most wonderful, um, most wonderful time uh, medley, and they and it has this die. Now, if you don't have that one, use a star. I'm sure you have a punch that uh, with a star shape, and then just do it, or you can leave it without. But in my case, I thought it will go really gorgeous with a star right there, right? So again, this is from the most um, most wonderful time. Uh, medley. That's how I got that one. And look how nice it is because it has them both in. Like I said, I think this one goes perfect for trees, right? Of course, that's uh, how that set had it. But I think this one goes for. But again, if you don't have that one, you can use the star. I'm sure it will look gorgeous. Now, this is the tag that comes on the kit. And then, of course, of course, I'm putting another of those little um, gold um, banners at the end here so that it can embellish a little bit more. So this is how it's going to look. Now, the last thing on this one I'm going to be adding is a little bit of those um, gems. And now on this one, I think it looks really nice if I put the gold ones to go with the gold thing here. I could also use the red, but I honestly didn't like that much. It was like too, I don't know, too bold for me. And there was already too much red underneath. So I thought of this one because it will look like elegant, I thought. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. But I, I, so far, I think I'm liking it. So let's just do the sentiment first. Let me just um, arrange this one so that it fits well. There you go. Okay, where is my mat? Okay, so here we go. Again, we're gonna be using the same shade of the spruce. So all of the projects are using exactly the same thing. Shade of the spruce and then just car stuck and the things from your kit. And I'm adding just the gems which, I, I mean, I know we all have lots of gems. So you don't have to be using the same that I am using. I'm sure you have some others. Like I said, rhinestones will also look nice. You can color them and have rhinestones in any color. So again, possibilities are endless with this. Um, all right, so now we're gonna be cutting this one with a Taylor Tech Punch. I'm gonna put this one here. So Taylor Tech Punch like this and it's smaller there we go all right so I'm gonna go ahead yep go ahead and add this one to the mix there we go let's just start putting everything here i love how it looks and they have this one right here yes perfect i love it see how it starts looking really nice so anyway so let's start putting everything as in the other one this one i know i'm going to be putting that right there so let's just add that one flat again because i'm doing tone on tone i'm going to be adding a gazillion of dimensionals because it it does look nicer so i'm going to be adding this one and the only thing that I'm doing is making sure it kind of has the same border around. The other thing that you could do is either cut it this one, right? But I thought it was nice to have a lot more of the red. So now we're going to go ahead and um, put this one with the dimensionals. Thank you, Vicky. I'm glad you're liking them. I'm telling you. I think that this kit really gives you so many options. All the die cuts are just gorgeous. And uh, like I said, the tags themselves look really nice. But, I mean, the cards, you, you can see it. It goes really fast. They're really cute. There's not so much stamping. You can take one evening and, you know, make as many cards as you can with those. Right? So... I think that that one and the kit is only what like thirty dollars i think and includes a lot of stuff i mean honestly i think it's just a good 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 kit to have um so there we go actually i'm gonna move it here just because there we go all right so here we have it i'm gonna be adding this one here so I'm gonna be careful to not be adding a 
Let me just make sure that I don't get into... There we go. Yeah. That looks nice. Now, this one I wanted to put also with dimensionals. Might add a smaller one there. Just a sec. So I'm gonna be adding this one right here, right in between. Is that right? And then we're gonna be adding this one right here to that. Actually, I needed more towards. Let me see, because I want this one to be, yeah, it does fit. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add this one with dimensionals as well. Um, I want to be careful on this section. So let me just put them more towards the middle here. Yeah, there we go, there we go, yep, like so. Thank you, Barbara. I'm glad you're liking it, Barb. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and add the glue dot here. Oh! And so I'm going to go ahead and edit somewhere here. All right. And then I'm going to be adding, um, what is this called? A mini dimensional right in the center of that one. Just so that it also pop up. Um, and... It fits nicely inside the cart, which I love that. And then we're gonna be adding the, the um, gold um, rhinestones on this one. Mm, and Yeah, maybe one more here. There you go. So I like that one. See that? It looks really nice with the gold foil um, on these um, three, right? Rather than the red. I thought the red was going to pop up too much, right? Too much. And I don't know if I want to add like a little bow or something. I don't know. Maybe a little bow here. We'll see. If I don't like it, then we'll not put it. All right, so I always like to add it, and if I don't like it, then I just take it away. Nope, probably need a little bit more. Okay. I actually do like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. So I'm gonna cut here and cut there. Yep, it looks nice. It adds a little bit more to this card. I'm just adding a glue that right in the center. And we're gonna go ahead and edit like right here. And there you have it. What do you think, huh? So you like this one best? All right, so um, 
Let me just do one more here. I know, it's usually three and I couldn't stop with this ones. <laughs> so you can see on this one, I already um, pre-embossed this and see on this one, I'm actually going to use the full, um, the full tag. Okay, so this one, if, if you don't want to be cutting it, you can use the full tag and then look into this one. This one I used the oval um, die set from the layering ovals. You can see that it's not quite perfect, but I don't think that matters. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that one. Again, I thought that um, these card kit gave me or gave me so many ideas in fact i have way more ideas but i think at some point we have to end these <laughs> but um since i'm already making them let's just finish them because I, I want to give you more and more and more ideas i might do one more all right so see this one's gonna go like right here then i'm thinking about putting this one right there right <laughs> yeah because like i said this kit just kept me going like once i start cutting things and and looking at them looking at them i just couldn't stop in fact i might have one more so we'll see so anyway see this one is just a die cut super easy now this one i'm going to be adding with um the dimensionals of course the dimensional is the only part where i just went crazy and put as many but you can see that um honestly i feel like this kid um yeah inspired me so much it was like i had way too many ideas with this one wish that's always good that means it's a good kid <laughs> or i was in the mood i don't know i don't know what it was maybe i was in the mood i don't know um all right so we're gonna be adding this one right here now you could add also the linen thread i didn't want to do it just because there's already too much gold going on and um but look at this we're going to be adding the sentiment here same thing as with the other one so let's just bring our um uh, taylor tuck punch cut the sections actually yeah totally fine all right and then i'm gonna cut this one i need it to be yeah about this much and again these are your uh, strips right i mean it's not and actually there's just uh, scraps if i'm being honest it's just the scraps that i had that especially for like the gold foil i never throw away those because honestly you're gonna need them need them um all right so now for this one let's just stamp really quick and we know the widow yeah this one with love for you goes perfectly with this one and so we can just add it here there we go. We're gonna close it. And then we're gonna put it together here. Um, I feel like that way it would be good. Okay. So I'm going to put it this one somewhere here. Yep. And then I'm going to be adding this one right here. And maybe a little bit less. Yep. So let's just add. And then same thing here. Yeah, the sentiments are really, really nice. 
And so this one will go right here. So I'm gonna be adding um, glue dots on here and then dimensionals on this section, okay? So let's just bring one dimensional for this section, one dimensional for this section, and then glue dots. Oh, actually, I can just add, um, rather than um, glue dots, I can just add the adhesive here. And then I can add this one right here. And what do you think, huh? I mean, seriously, is that not really cute? Let's just add the dimensionals and add it. And so, like I said, this one, I think it's the easiest of all because there's not so much stamping other than, sorry, cutting other than the die cutting of the oval, which, I mean, that shouldn't take that much time. And then just gluing everything there, right? I mean, this one, super, super quick. And let's just show you this one. By the way, what time is it? I'm not even watching the the watch. And so I don't even know what time is it. All right, so we're gonna be adding this one to our front. And Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I kind of went a little bit in an angle there. There you go, much better. Oh, so what do you think, huh? Oh, good deal. <laughs> so like I said, here we go. Um, And so what time is it? Hold on. Okay, so I gotta go now because it took already. There was another one that I'll share, but I think I'll share it later on. I'll make it, I'll show you the design that I was thinking and then I'll show it in my blog, but I won't do it here just because it's already way too late. <laughs> but here's the other one. See this one? I'll give you measurements so that you can see. So this is again, um, shaded the spruce, eight and a half by five and a half. Then I have, what is this, real red. And this one is um, three and seven eighths by five and one quarter. And then I have here um, three and five eighths by five. So this one, and you can see where I got that circle for the stocking card. This is why it was um, pre-embossed because I got it from here. Well, yeah, let's just do it. I know, I'm, it's already late, right? So let's just do it. And then I have this um, die cut and the same thing here. We have the sentiment and then this one. So let's just do it. I mean, we're already on this one and it shouldn't take that long. So, okay. Same thing, folding it in half. Um, now for this one, I'm gonna be adding the dimensionals on these. So this one is gonna glue down on these like so. And, um, And like I said, it's one of those that um, I keep thinking and thinking what else to do. And my goodness, there were so many ideas. There was another one that I wanted to do with the um, ornament. I thought that would be really nice as well. So let's just add this one like right here. And so let's just add dimensionals on this. I'm gonna add some of the little ones here. You see that it's not as flimsy. There we go. And then, yeah, I'm adding way too many, but um, when you have that um, cut, you wanna balance things out for sure, so. Okay, so, alrighty. Let me just put this one here and we're gonna put it in place. <laughs> Barbara, I know, 
this is the first time I'm doing five. Holy cow, that's way too many, right? But you saw all of them are really easy to make, all of them. And like I said, on this one, I um, I embossed and then I die cut. I should have die cut first and then embossed, but it still looks good, you know? Uh, okay. There you go. All right, so now this one is gonna go right here. Now for this one, I'm gonna be adding a glue dot here and a glue dot there, and then dimensionals on this section, just so that everything equals or balance, if you will. And then a glue dot here. There we go. Yeah, you are all special today. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I was late to begin with, so I think that you deserve an extra treat. <laughs> all right, so then for this one, we're gonna be using the Merry Christmas. Again, using the, um, Shaded spruce and we're gonna be adding this one right there. And I love the sentiments, I love the wording, the fonts. I think that they look amazing. So definitely I think like I said, I think this set is one that you have to have. I'm not kidding you. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one. And this one is three quarter of an inch and the length, again, it's just a scrap. So we're going to be cutting it in half so that it shows on both ends. Now, this one, you got to be careful because uh, it only can show a little bit, not too much because you can see there's not much space. So that's one of the things you have to consider. And we're gonna be adding it like so. And then like so. And then this one is gonna be all flat because it already has dimensionals all over. So the whole thing is gonna go like so, right? And um we're gonna be adding just a few of the red, right? On this one, it makes sense to add the red one. Hmm, actually I like it. Where do I want, oh, I want it here. Let's just put it here. Yeah, that way it's all random there. So, here you have it. We have five cars tonight. And I think they all look really nice. I'm going to try to put them all together. You let me know which one is your favorite. So, we have this one. And then that one. And I think I did that one then. Um... I probably need to put this one right here so that everything just shows on the, well, I don't know. I don't know how to put them all, but here are all the cards so that you can see them. Let me know which one was your favorite. I feel like they all are nice. You see how easy they all are. I like how clean is this one. I love that I didn't have to do much for that one. Um, this one, I love the layout. I think it's my favorite, although I'm so mad that this one ended up being here. I should have put it up. Um, so I love everything about them. <laughs> but anyway, so let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for being with me the whole time. Um, I know it's kind of late, and um, anyway, I really appreciate your time. And like I mentioned at the beginning, um, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the Make and Take 
for the Christmas, uh, what is this? The snowflake, the snowflake uh, wishes stamp a stack. Again, this is where you get 12 cards of, um, of, a key, of the kit and it's four of each. And again, tomorrow is the last day to sign up. So make sure you are on the mailing list because tomorrow is the last email about it. And the only way to sign up for that class is when you are on my mailing list. And after that, there's only going to be the tutorial available, which is already available at creatingwithali.com under PDF, um, not PDF, the tutorials store. That way you can see whatever I have available. And as soon as you purchase it, you can download it. So anyway, so thank you so much. Yes. Exactly, exactly, Annie. You can make as many, if you think about them as the science series paper, I think that you can get so many ideas. And you can see I only use like three tags, right, on this set. So I still have plenty of tags. I only use one of each, so I could still be making lots of cards out of that. The only thing that I would add, like if you don't have this color, like I would just add um, Shadow the Spruce. Uh, yeah, shaded spruce when you are purchasing the kit so that you can make as many cards because you can see I make them all with that. Maybe a real red if you don't have it, um, but that's about it, right? Real red, whisper white, which I think we all have whisper white because that's one of the basic colors, but it's shaded spruce for sure. And um, yeah, it's very easy to make. So anyway, so thank you so much. Really appreciate you being here. Hola, gordita. And anyway, I'll see you all next week. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> right, you're so nice. So the last one was your favorite, David. Yeah, I think that the being clean, it just looks modern in my my view. So anyway, so thank you so much. I'll see you next week. All right, <laughs> bye.